right? And then my name is like something random every time. <laughs> they can't decide what to call you. It's always she sail. They've gotten it almost correct a few times, actually. Silky Kitten says, yep, I spent a little over budget, but I should be okay if I collect money from the people who borrowed from me. Yeah, bust some kneecaps, Silky. Anyways, hello everyone, we're back with more Dragon Quest X. Uh, we just had to stop the recording there, and now we're back. Uh, we're heading over to a place called Silver Hill. Yeah, Taki, it's uh, Mira. Mira has fan service now. Hello, roses are red, violets are blue, and Silly is here. <laughs> Thanks, you so much. I appreciate your poetry. Work from home is overrated. Instead, I propose work from Ikea. Go to Ikea when it's absolutely dead during the week and join a video conference from a different mock room every hour until your team notices. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go to Orfea West and then to an area called Wrinkle Locale. I thought that I thought that pros I, I thought that translated wrong, but apparently that's literally what it's called. Wrinkle Locale. Oh, interesting. So I think we gotta go down here. Wrinkle okay. Locale. Alright, well, well, we'll go there first, and then I'll continue uh, mapping. I'm into that, it. Right? Yusuf! Yes, uh, Yusuf was playing with us last night, Silly. Nice. Yeah, he couldn't talk on uh, Discord because it was like 2 a.m. where he was, uh, but he, he played like most of the night, and he was really good. Ah, oh, you missed it. It was so good. We were playing with P the Magic D in them as well. And early one game, I uh, was telling everybody that P is infected. And then I got a... Uh, <laughs> and then I got a... Um, uh, like a scanner, and uh, when you scan somebody, it, it confirms whether that person's infected or innocent. <laughs> and I, uh, I scanned him. He said he was innocent, so I told everyone, no, no, it, it says he's innocent. And he's like, uh, he's like, see, I told you. And then, uh, later on in the match, I found a lethal ejection and immediately grabbed P and killed him with it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was innocent. <laughs> and then later that night, Puddle Knot was like, Wait, who picked up that lethal injection? And just just after he said that, I grabbed Pete and killed him with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good lethal injection. The game injections. is pretty funny. Yeah, it's some really good lethal injections too. Like uh, Arena, we knew he was the killer. Lethal injections? And I think that was new. Interesting. Yeah, because uh, Arena, he was, we knew he was the killer in one game, and he, we're in the forest level, and he's hiding in the woods, and no one could find him. And then darkness phase was coming, and if you know, you can't kill things at night. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, that's where we're heading. Cool. It's on the map. Anyway. So, nice. Dark Face has maybe one second or less until it actually uh, gets found. I see, I finally find Arena hiding in the bush, and just before it goes night phase, I grab him and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no! <laughs> Oh, it was so good. I like being the agent of chaos in those games. I just start shooting someone. Yeah. <laughs> this is like pick a person at random. Usually it's the first person I see and then I accuse them immediately. Even if it's even if I'm innocent. <laughs> you got fucking Noel running around drinking blood right in front of me and I'm telling everybody nobody believes me. <laughs> No one ever believes you. That's how it works. Yeah, that's, like, that's why to see it's such an interesting game, because like no one ever believes you when you say something. Like, ever. That's why the camera exists. Like, in games where you have... I assume that in games where you are playing with people you don't know, you have voice chat, right? And you cannot... Once you're dead, you can no longer communicate on voice chat at all. You can just watch. Yeah. But also, the camera, can you, if you can catch... If you can snap a picture of them, you can show it to other people. I think, I assume, somehow. We've never tried to do it, but... Yeah. Alright, so this is Silver Hill. First off, this is, oh, this is very nice. classic music. Secondly, I like this area. It's very pretty. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, cool. Got to see. Oh, okay. Oh, Taki likes it, too. Hi, children! This is the gate to hell! Oh, nice. 
He says, Oh, yeah. This seems to be a hitch. Says, That's it, Napsu Group Leader. I got a pair of people say. I assume this is not all the children in the village, just the ones that went to the show. There's only like five of them, or six of them. Yeah. It says, I'll cheer you up, even if it's bad, even if you're bad. The result of not returning home, but I do not care. This is the result of not returning home. Okay, so he says he's, he does not care about returning home, it sounds like. That, yeah. I always have to like guess if I'm on the exact same spot as you, but based on like my translation and your translation put together. This one's trying to translate to hilarious for me. Or Happy New Year. Oh my god, it's a wrinkle in time. Oh shit, he had fangs. He's just fucking chucking these kids in. What time is it? You are getting up. What is it? I'm getting it! Ah! Oh yeah, I returned home. Okay. So I guess he sent them home. Or at least, you know, what he thinks is home. Come now to Poudine. Uha is already a child of her. Just go into this door quickly. So it sounds like what he thinks he's doing isn't, uh, isn't evil. I don't know, maybe. Let's meet Mr. Mai. Please do it. Please don't do it. He says, Headmaster. Always d bake the delicious cake. Oh, that's not going to do, Always bake the delicious cake for me. L let's make it. Oh, why is it gonna be like this? I think he's saying you always baked like a, a delicious cake for me. Why is it gonna be like this? Yeah, right. And he's like, too bad. Poor bad. He's, I don't have much time anymore. Is this headmaster? <laughs> get the fuck, get the bum's rush going there. He's like, open and open. Master Chief. So he's going to Halo? I guess. Let me return home as that translates to. Uh, hello. This is okay. Huh? As you saying, what's this? Who are you supposed to be? It's Masuhi Hashi. Masuku. Masakazu. Ah, uh, no, do not say anything. I will devote it to the tame of the expert. It's Uda. Uh, um, it's Uda Day, it would be so. I don't think that's translated. It says right. dwarf alone. So maybe it's just saying weddy alone. Yeah. He is what they Yeah, you like the graphics of the game? Me too, Yusuf. I, I I think they should bring this game out over here, but people are like, it's graphics wouldn't hold up. What the fuck are you talking about? They're bringing out 2D games still. I knew it! <sighs> My race guard is busy. Everything happens when I'm caught. He 
says, let's apply another one. The city of Urfa is trying to keep track of me, it would seem so. Oh, okay, so the city of Urfa, Urfa asked you to keep track of me? Is that what you're getting from this too, or...? It's something like that, yeah, like mine... Mine says something really weird so at certain points, so it's like hard to... Oh yeah, yeah, I chased after me, so like... I don't know. He's gonna go from place to place, maybe? Like, doing... Stuff like this? I don't yeah. know. It says, even a brat came to that door. I definitely will not open it now. Or oh, we are trapped in those doors. It is that, it, it is absolutely not open right now. Uh, so he's saying something about that door in particular and how we're trapped here. Mm -hmm. it, it will absolutely not open up. It's a mystery door. Uh, dead sister says it's shadow. So, from what I understand of the story, Silly, we actually want to pay a lot of attention to what this particular story. Oh, yeah? Yeah. After all, it opens only when it's destined to open. It's a mysterious door. A dead sister says it's Kage. I don't think that's what that's supposed to say, but it's. I think it has to do with the deceased sister's shadow? Maybe, yeah. Or the dead sister said... So this, like, this story might have to do with us being this way, like, as the races we are or something, maybe? Who's on a journey of the Weddy. Ah, uh, it could be, because he's mentioning, um, a dead sister, and then he mentioned me being a Weddy. So he may know that we are not supposed to be in this body. Like, this Person is... Person on a journey of a dwarf. Aha! Uh, if you are a guy like what I thought, next time we will meet with the officials. All right, next time he said, next time we meet, uh, we'll be in our fair, he says to me. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I think that has, the story has a lot to do with why we are the way we are. <laughs> I like how we go to the cutscene and your character instantly finds her way over to me. Yeah, well, she, originally she went back down to where you were when you started the cutscene, and now back up to where you were, are now. It's minimal and the cartoon style looks really good. Yeah, Yusuf, this is a very classic style for Dragon Ball or for Dragon Quest. It's done by Akira Toriyama, right? And I really like the graphics of it. But uh, yeah, silly, there's parts of the story that I actually do know um, that you pro probably don't. And I will tell you, just pay attention to this door. I'm trying to. It is, it's relevant. I'm definitely paying attention to it. I just like, we can't always understand what they're saying. At yeah, no, all. no, but what I mean is, like, for particular plot details, this this one is actually fairly important. Yeah, I mean, I know the gist of all the other stories too, and I am translating along with you, by the way, sort of. Yeah. Sometimes I get ahead of you. Sometimes I'm behind you. <laughs> it's good that you do, because sometimes my translator likes to act the fuck up, so getting your input is helpful. Look at these bodkin archers. Just learn Japanese in a few days, guys. It's quick. I'm learning Japanese now. I don't actually know how to speak it, though. So, like, I can recognize a lot of the characters now, but sometimes my translator doesn't recognize them. You like the approach with two players translating? Yeah, see? Otake likes it. Because, like, Otake... One of us sounds like slow beef? Is that me or, uh, or silly? I don't know I'm a slow beef. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's really like, um, I know how to say, like, I know how to count up to seven now, and even though they never taught me five, Silly and Piamet taught me five, uh, but I can say <laughs> a bunch of phrases that I couldn't say before, like, and I know how to spell them in the, uh, uh, uh Hiragana now, and that's like, goodbye, sayonara, um, Good job. dirty, wear, um, sweet, amaye. Alcohol. Teriyaki. Teriyaki. Yeah, Yusuf, I'm learning the Hiragana <laughs> alphabet as well. It's funny, because uh, 
one of the words they taught me was teriyaki, and that one is a direct translation in hiragana because it's if you write it out, it all the sounds are done with hiragana. It's pretty neat. That's so funny. Yeah, I haven't even got to kanji yet. I'm like worried about that. Oh yeah, I showed PM at the casino last night. She's like, why is it written in English? Casino? Yeah. <laughs> But the game here, like, I, I am seeing a lot of characters that I recognize, and I can read out and sound out the names. Like, they're in Japanese, obviously, but, uh, if, if it's characters that I recognize, right? Like, uh, the, um, the uh, Harmers, and that they, in English, they're, uh, or in, uh, they're all written in Hiragana, so I get their names. And I had PM that helped me, uh, write my, get my character's name. Miro! Alright, so hang on, where are we gonna go? Uh, let's see. I'm back in Orfea. What? No, what? That's not where I want to go, is it? Yeah, okay. Uh, return to the dressing room of the circus tent. Okay. We're in the right area. Look at these cakes and wafers. There's a subreddit for helping people learning kanji in Japanese. R slash learning learn Japanese, you think? Oh, Yusuf, thank you! That's super good, I appreciate that. Do you mind posting that in the Discord for me? I think I'm learning Japanese, I think I'm learning Japanese. <laughs> I really think so. I, I really wanna learn. But languages have always been my weakest point in school, so it's not great. All right, cutscene. And he says, oh, Mira. He says, Silver Hill. Uh, you you can you, you did not meet the Natsu group leader. What is that? Oh, what is it? I made her caught up and down. I didn't say does he come back here? Oh, he says the headmaster got back here with uh, a great deal of speed. What? Okay. 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 Um, as far as the past tent, uh, as far as I know, uh, or this tent, uh, he's not returning, but... What force? What do you mean, maybe? What power is your strength? What is his, what is his power? It's like what I think he's asking, or what's it like? What's his quest, or what is he seeking to achieve? What is it? Hey, Grandpa returns. You learned ninety percent of your English by playing games as a kid. You guys playing Japanese games should help now. Hey, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Naputo lead head leader or headmaster uh, in the mysterious. Uh, he can find uh, the children in the mysterious door of Silver Hill, is what I think he's saying. And this purple one is like... The Headmaster, what, are, what on earth is he going to do? And he says, Wah! Something rin. Waka. Oh, that is ka. Waka rin. Didn't translate anything for me, so what's no, going on? Mine's like. Let's see. What'd she said. I will not do anything like that for the headmaster. I do not think I'm crazy about it. Only two can be said clearly. So. Okay, so. The headmaster told me to do something like that. I do not think I'm crazy about it. Uh, can't quite suss out what he's saying, but the, I, either the headmaster told him to do something, or he can't fathom why the headmaster would do something. Uh, and he says he believes in the head chief no matter what happens. Okay, so I guess the head chief told him to do something, but he can't understand why. Mm -hmm. But he believes in him no matter what. This gets like. Ta. 
speak. That's all it's translating to. It was great. The sky is uncanny, uncanny hinnowed. Guys, don't look the up. Sky, the sky turns into an eerie color. It says on mine. Yeah, mine says this. I just changed it. It's like the sky. It's a creepy dynasty. All right. <laughs> You had fun last night, Grandpa Returns? I hope you're able to come out to the future ones, because we have uh, community nights every Saturday. Whoa, it's dark. Is that what they mean by creepy color? Like the sky is dark? I guess. What kind of guy? So, who can do this sort of 15 thing? 15 years. Chances. What? This, this power is scary. Yeah, 15 years. So the disembodied voice is speaking to everyone. May not be able to translate this. Let's try. I'm gonna give it a shot. Approximately 15 years ago. Uh, some kind like of you made an agreement with them, but don't say that you forgot the agreement, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Okay. Oh, oh fuck, look at this guy. Very Dragon Ball Z character. It's Majin here. Buu. Oh, that looks nothing like Majin Buu. <laughs> it's exactly like Majin Buu. Looks more like Tambourine. And he's like, come, come on, the life of the children of Hawaii Fair. Oh, maybe that dude, like, took the children and threw them in the door to keep them from this guy. Yeah. He says, let me have all that you gave me. Uh, okay, so he's basically saying, give me what I was promised, or the, li uh, the life of the children of your children. So it sounds like the people here made a pact with the demon. He says, what time is it? <laughs> or is it that time already? An amazing thing, the wings are Nakahito in town. You'll try and make the next ones? Yeah, it's not obvious. It's always not, not mandatory, Grandpa, but you can. We have it every time. It's mandatory. If you don't come, then you get kicked out. <laughs> of what? Kimika. I don't know. Yeah. I guess that it will be the evening due to the intrusion into the town. Alright, so. Uh, one who is in the invasion of the town. Okay, so this guy's saying that this demon is invading the town, I think. Yeah. So from the sounds of it, I think we're right. Uh, the headmaster's actually protecting the children from this fucking thing. I'm in a good mood today, so I will miss it specially. Okay. I will let you go. I think he's saying, I'm in a good mood today, so I will let you go. Yeah, right. He's going all Hercule on them. Of course, guys! Uh, next week is going to be um, Bloodborne, so... I know not everybody has a PS4, but I've been kind of neglecting the PS4 for a bit, so i got to give them some time, too. Hmm? Is this anything? What do you mean? <laughs> I think he's asking where the children in the town are. Yeah, this town has children. There must be children, you know? Like... Yeah. No one else has the power. The strength. Here's a brooch. There's Who's nothing. that? Exactly, as Aloe told me. Do not hide away, come out. <laughs> you really like the daemon? Yeah, it's a good design, I like it. He says, Come out of hiding! He says, Do not panic. Da da, bad rebellion. He's laughing, he's like, Do not panic. This guy says, I am a fellow of warfare.
as the mayor of Orfair, uh, I am the headmaster of the of the tent. I do not have much trouble at all. Oh, he's saying he's a Saiyan and lying, so that's why he's fighting him. <clears throat> why did I take a page? <laughs> anyway, he says that I, I won't, you, know, I, I, you won't give me much trouble at all. Is what I figured. He's like, come and try if you can take him. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I got him. All right, let's just translate it to. Him. Says. He says, lose your speech, or stop talking. The contract has been signed, give the children now. So he's basically saying, you know, you guys have already signed the contract, give over the children. Yeah. Give them to them, you know? Oh, I guess maybe he might be a Saiyan. This is very Dragon Ball too. <laughs> <laughs> the bad Donna. He's like, I don't want that. Hey. My heart, my tribute, or give me my tribute. He says, I wanted to know the whereabouts of the brats, or a brat. He says, try to catch me. Alright, I think he's talking to me now. Or you, or you, I guess. He says... Yeah, pretty much. We're... Uh, I'm gonna take him to Miyuki, uh, West Miyuki's forest. Uh, yeah, so he says he's taking him to the forest. Give me a hand to defend the city of Orfair. At the you know, square in the forest of Mew, uh, I fall asleep. Uh, it's where we will put him to sleep, I think it's just saying. Yeah, it's where we'll, where we'll beat him. Yeah, I'll give you a tool, uh, if you can defeat it. Uh, I believe in you, buddy traveler. Okay. For me, he says, if you can defeat it, I'll give you a key emblem. Oh, yeah, he says, a tool to me. Or at least that's what translates <laughs> He says, come on! Come on, haters! <laughs> Dana of evil. I think he's saying like demon of evil. That's what Dana is supposed to be. Yeah. He's smacking his ass at him. Alright. He's singing to him. Come on over. Evil surprise, one by one. <laughs> one bruise with bad crayon. I think he's saying, come on over. Come on over, baby. Probably. Look at that Naruto run. Oh, I need to translate that. It's all good, you'll be waiting on PC games for sure. For sure. Alright, so I'm gonna reset this recording. That was really good. <laughs>